A crucial error resulted in the second deadliest aviation accident in history after 9-11. On March 26, 1977, two aircrafts, KLM Flight 4805, flying from Amsterdam, and Pan Am Flight 1736, flying from New York, were both on their destination to Grand Canary Airport in the Canary Islands. A terrorist attack at the airport would redirect both flights to Las Rodeas Airport on a neighboring island. Due to the terrorist attack, Las Rodeas Airport began getting packed with planes that were redirected from Grand Canary Airport. Las Rodeas Airport was small, with only one runway and one taxiway. The airport was so packed that airplanes blocked up the taxiway and had to use the runway to taxi. Grand Canary Airport was later reopened after the threat of terrorism had gone. Planes from Las Rodeas Airport started to fly back to Grand Canary Airport. The weather that day was really foggy and hard for pilots to see. KLM Flight 4805 was instructed to taxi down the runway and make a 180 degree turn to take off. Pan Am Flight 1736 was instructed to follow the plane then exit on the third exit. Pilots for the Pan Am Flight did not see the third exit from the fog. As the KLM Flight was getting ready for takeoff, they could not see the Pan Am Flight in front of them. KLM pilots said to aircraft for control we are now at takeoff. They were given the reply, okay, stand by for takeoff, I will call you. Not knowing that they were actually never clear for takeoff at all. So the pilots went down the runway anyways, with the Pan Am flight still on the runway in front of them, crashing into it. 583 people died from both planes. 